What's going on you guys? So I have another HP ProDisc 400G4. This is the small form factor. Gonna be upgrades for gaming. So I'm gonna slide it to the left. So what you have to do is remove the front cover basil. So right here in the bottom, you have to click on it right here to secure clip. So you're just gonna move her up. Before you do that, you're gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable from the sole SSD. You used to use a Phillips head. So I have here installed this is a 240 gig. This is a Kingston SSD, but this does not have a DRAM. So I'm gonna be upgrading guys to, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little better. This is a 500 gig, this SK Hunix. And this one does have DRAM in it. Because a lot of cheap SSDs do not have DRAM, so just let you guys know. But this one does have. And so this is about the same. Just install it. Back side like this. <clears throat> but if 500, if it's 500 gigs is not enough, then you just go one terabyte. If you want to get something like the best, then just go with the Samsung. I'll put in the link in the description, you guys can get it. Go like this. And there's two more. That's installed. All I'm gonna do is upgrade the RAM. It's got total, uh, it's got only one stick, it's running single channel, it's gonna be pretty slow. So you have to, so what I will do is I'm gonna upgrade the dual channel. I, I'll put guys in the link in the description, you guys can get the RAM. I'll probably go minimum 16 gigs of RAM on it since it's got Windows 10. And it's gonna remove this one. Because if it's got only 8 gigs, it's going to be too slow. Let's go 16. Okay, so I'm going to go back. You guys can see. You hear the two clicks. All I'm gonna do is be, the last part is the video card. It's a little tab here, I'm gonna move this. So the video card is installed here in the bottom and what you have to do is you take your finger here and you're gonna see this little clip right here, the secure clip, this holds the video card. So you're gonna click, uh, lift it up gently like this and you're gonna lift up the video card. But if you can't do it, then I'm gonna get a... So let's go like this and lift it up. 
and you have to hold your finger right here press it up like this gently lift it up before you move it because this is a clip that holds on the video card uh so be really careful when you pull the video card you have to hold this clip up so guys i'm going to show you guys the video cards that you can upgrade so yeah this is going to be really slow for gaming this one it's going to so this one is right here as you guys can use is uh this is nvidia quadro k1200 this is the it comes with the low profile bracket it's got four gigs of ram uh this one is uh gt 1030 this has got two gigs of ram and this one will be the final one this will be the amd radeon rx 550 and this one does have four gigs of ram so i'm just gonna install this one instead And you're gonna be installing the bottom one, the Time 16 slot, PCI Express Time 16 slot, because this top one will not we will not be able to install it. Only the bottom one. So I have to install this back. So you have to align here at the top here. You see that? Like this. And you have to put the wire for the seed and power. Goes right through the middle. You're gonna connect back the SATA and power cable to the SSD. That's installed. I'm just gonna install the front cover basil. Look at the back side, that's how it's gonna look. So you guys, this be the end of the video. Thanks for watching, bye.